welcome to the newsroom. I am Tamlora Akin Kolier, and these are the stories of following at the moment. The U.S. Court for the Northern District of Columbia has rejected an emergency request on the release of the confidential information of President Bola Tinobu. The application by Iran Greenspan sought to compel top U.S. law enforcement agencies like the Federal Bureau of Investigation (FBI), Central Intelligence Agency (CIA), and Internal Revenue Service (IRS) to extend the release of Tinobu's dossier. Declining the request, Barry Orwell, the judge said Greenspan did not meet the preconditions for granting a request of the nature. And the Lagos State Sexual Offense and Domestic Violence sitting in Ikeja a sentence the medical director of Optical Cancer Care Foundation, Dr. Olufemi Olaleye, to life imprisonment for the defilement of his wife's niece. Justin Rahman Oshodi sentenced him after he found him guilty of the offense of defilement and sexual penetration of a 15-year-old girl. The judge held that the prosecution was able to prove his case beyond reasonable doubt and that all evidence before the court corroborated that of the victim. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has called for a peaceful election in the November 11 governorship polls in Bayesa, Kogi, and Imo states. The INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, made the call at a quarterly meeting with political parties on Tuesday. Yakubu said that a free and fair election can be conducted in peaceful atmosphere, urging political parties to maintain peace during campaigns and on election day. Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wali Edung, says the economy will receive $10 billion in foreign exchange inflow in the next few weeks to ease liquidity pressure in the foreign exchange market. Speaking during the panel section at the ongoing 29th Nigerian Economic Summit in Abuja, Edung said the government has a clear view of the inflow into the country in weeks rather than months. The minister also said President Bola Tenobo assigned to executive orders allowing the domestic issuance of instruments in foreign currency and allowing all cash outside the banking system to be brought into banks. And on the global scene, President of the World Bank, Ajay Banga, says the war between Israel and Hamas could deal a serious blow to global economic development. The President said this at the annual Future Investment Initiative with investors in Saudi Arabia on Tuesday. According to Banga, at the end of the day, it, if all is put together, the impact on economic development is even more serious. And the Kenya court on Tuesday has extended an order barring the government from deploying hundreds of police officers to Haiti on a UN-backed mission aiming to pacify the troubled Caribbean nation. The UN Security Council gave the go-ahead in early October for the deployment of the non-UN multinational mission led by Kenya to help the overwhelmed Haitian police. But the High Court in Nairobi subsequently granted an interim injection in the case brought by a politician who argued that the deployment was unconstitutional as it was not backed by any law or treaty. And in sport, around the 100 Bayern Munich and Galatseria supporters clashed early on Tuesday in one of Istanbul's main bar district ahead of the Champions League match. According to local authorities, four German fans and one Turkish fan was lightly injured, but no charges have been filed. Bayern has have gone 36 Champions League group stage matches on beating and top group A going into Tuesday's game. And that's all on the newsroom at the moment. Join us at the top of the hour for more stories. I am Tamlora Kim Kulie. Bye for now.